China right now is on an economic rise. From Hong Kong to Shanghai to Beijing, there's just construction everywhere. They improve so quickly, you know, 20 years and all of a sudden you see skyscrapers, you know, very affluent parts of the city which was never there before. There's really just a lot going on as far as the business world goes in China. Businesses are moving over here for cheaper labor and producing their products and also there's a huge market over here. There's a lot more people, over a billion people, so there's a lot of business to be made in China. According to the statistics, you know how many KFC in, China, in Shanghai? According to the statistics, 200 KFC roughly and 180 McDonald's. I knew China was booming and I learned that through various classes that I took, but I never thought it would be this much. And they're going to be our direct competition and it's really interesting to see this experience firsthand. It's different than reading about it in a book or watching a video or a documentary. Uh, they invested at the beginning six million and four hundred thousand yuan. The factories in China are huge, just massive. They have people who live there. So it's cool to go see the biggest beer factory in Asia. They definitely are large scale. They are in a point in their economy where we were like that in the 60s. It's all assembly line, especially assembly line when we were at the car factory. Commercials for car companies in America, it's all very automated and there's always like robot arms putting all the pieces together, whereas the Chinese factory was just like one long chain of little pit stops the car made in each stop there'd be some people working on it and they'd add the wheels and then it'd move, they'd put the windshields on. And it was really cool to see the whole car just being built as we're walking through. No silk, just come from silvers. It's hard to incorporate business here in China with all the rules and regulations and different legal systems. They go by the civil law here, whereas in the United States it's the common law. So it's a lot, a lot more strict, orderly um, type of business here in China. And you need to know the people you're doing business with, but coming to the country and experiencing the culture firsthand is the only way to really know or have a feel of what it's like. Yeah, I would say going to China was extremely intimidating. I would never think any other country, you know, can compete with the U.S. But now being here, you really could see it. And it's unbelievable to see, you know, how fast they improved and where they could be in the next 20, 30 years. We're inside a supermarket and it's two floors and there's a lot of junk. And uh, it's all in Chinese, so I don't really know what to get. I definitely feel like I got a first-hand experience and I saw how closely related Chinese business and American businesses. And it would be really interesting to, you know, see like this bridge come even closer between the Chinese culture and the American culture. The younger generations are getting to experience something like we are in America. And it's moving towards a world that's more united than separated by countries. And business is something that is helping countries to connect. I think more so than governments are nowadays.